Hey guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about CSS position. Stick till the end, because by the end of this video, you'll be able to position your HTML elements like a pro. Alright guys, I have some basic setup to demonstrate to you what are CSS positions. Just a H1 which is calling static. We have an outer parent, the blue box. It can be scrolled. We have a parent which has a red box and the children which has the cyan box. We have also some styles, some classes with empty styles and all of the codes will be on GitHub so you can follow along. The link will be on the description. By the way, I have already written a blog post about it on my website on killscoding.space. The link will be on the description. You can use this as your future reference. And if you want to read more blog posts about full stack web development data structure algorithms, just go to killscoding.space. Here you will find a lot of blog posts about full stack web development. So the link will be on the description. Check that out. So let's learn about CSS position. Now what is CSS position? CSS position is just a property to position an element to the viewport and that's it, nothing too fancy. So there are five types of CSS position available. First one is the static position. It is the default behavior. It is positioned according to the normal flow of the page. Let's see. Okay, so we have this code. I haven't really used any kind of CSS position and that's what the normal behavior this is what static position is and there is nothing much to talk about so let's move on to the second position which is relative position relative position is almost same as static position but you can change the position from its normal position with four properties and those four properties are top bottom left and right with this four property you can reposition your elements wherever you want so when you use a value, it will move that element from that position to its opposite position. Now what I mean is if you use top value, then it will move your element from top to bottom. If you use left property, then it will move the element from left to right. That's how it works. So let's see the example to understand it more. All right, so I have the same code as before. I have just replaced the static word to relative and I have just added a relative class to the children element so that we can style it. So inside the relative class, we need to use the position property to change the CSS position. So position and the position that I want is relative. So let's save the file. Okay, so nothing has changed here because we need to use those four properties. So if you want to move your children element down by 30 pixels, you can do that with top property, top 30 pixel. Now you can use whatever measurement value you want. If you want to use percentage, rem, m, whatever you want, it will work fine. So let's save the file. Okay, so as you can see that the children element has been moved down by 30 pixel. If you want to move the children element from left to right by 50%, you can do that with left 50%. So let's save the file. Okay, so the children element has been moved by 50%. And notice that the children has moved from its original position, not from the parent. You can also use negative values. And yes, you are right, it will have the opposite effect. So for example, if I make 30 pixel to negative 30 pixel, it will move up the children element by 30 pixel. So let's save the file. So you can see that it has been moved up by 30 pixel. And another thing that you should notice, this children element didn't get removed from the flow of the web page. And the proof is the parent. Parent is still holding the same height. It didn't shrink because it is assuming that the children element is still there. So it has preserved the children's area. Okay, so that's what relative position is. Let's move on to the third one, 
which is absolute position. Unlike relative position, it will be positioned to relative to its nearest relative parent. If it doesn't find any, then it will be positioned to document body. It will be removed from the flow of the web page. And it will also be scrolled with other elements. So let's see what does this mean. Alright, so we had the same thing as before. This time the children has the absolute class. So let's use the absolute position. So on the absolute class, make the position absolute. Now just save the file and see the effect. Okay, so we have many things to notice. The children has been removed from the flow of the web page because the parent is not holding the same height as before and the children is also not taking the full width of its parent. So this children element is just floating around. This children element will try to find any parent. It could be direct parent, grandparent, great, 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 grandparent. If any parent has CSS position relative, then this children element will be positioned relative to that parent. So let's see what does this mean. So I will make this parent position relative with an inline style. So style uh, position relative. So let's save the file. Okay, so nothing much has changed. So we need to use those four properties. So I want to move down the children by 30 pixel. So I will use top 30 pixel. Now it will be moved down relative to the parent, not from its original position. So let's save the file. See, this children element has been moved down relative to its parent. So if I make the top value zero, you will see it clearly. So you can see that the children has not properly aligned because it has uh, some margins. This children element is positioned relative to its parent. So what if it doesn't find any parent? I will remove this uh, inline style. So there is no more parent that has CSS position relative. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so now the children is here because the children is now positioned relative to the document body and with zero pixel, uh, let's make it uh, 50 pixel. Now this children element has been moved down from the document body by 50 pixel because it has been positioned relative to the document body and it will also be scrolled, it is not fixed here. Now this children element has been removed from the flow of the web page. That's why it is floating on top of other things but sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want that element to go behind other elements. So how you can do this? You do this with Z index. So just type Z dash index. Now Z index accepts a value. Every element has Z index of zero, I believe by default. So when an element gets floated, the Z index get increased. That's why it gets in front of the view because it has the most priority. So so if I put one here, you will see not much difference. Everything is same as before because this children element has more Z index than other elements. But you can change that by using negative values or less values than other elements. So if you use zero, it has the same effect. But if you use negative one, then it should have a change. And now this children element has pushed to the back because negative one is less than zero. Now the other elements have more Z index value than the children element. That's why the children element has been pushed to the back and other elements has come to the view first. So that's how Z index work. Okay, so this is absolute position. Now let's move on to the fourth one, which is position fixed. Fixed is similar to absolute with some difference. It will be positioned relative to the document body, always relative to the document body. And it will stay fixed inside viewport and never will be scrolled. So let's see what does that mean. Okay, so we have the same code as before with the fixed class in the children. 
So let's try the fixed position. So inside the fixed class, let's make the position uh, absolute. Sorry, not absolute. Uh, fixed. So let's see what happens. Okay, so same as the absolute, but now if you use top left bottom right properties, it will be positioned relative to the document body. So let's see. Uh, if I use uh, left of 20% it has been moved from left to right 20% if I use top 50% sorry uh, 80% let's see okay so now the children element has been moved down by 80% from the document body not from its parent not from the original position and this children element will never be scrolled, it will stay fixed onto that position. So if I scroll down, this children element doesn't move, okay? I'm scrolling, but it doesn't move. And you can also use Z index with it. And that's all there is about fixed position. So let's talk about the final one, which is sticky position. Now sticky is kinda tricky. A sticky element toggles between relative and fixed. It will be stayed at relative first when it will be scrolled down or top. It will make an offset the position that you will give with those four properties top left bottom right. Then it turn it to fix. If the parent is passed from the viewport it will also be scrolled. If the parent is the document body then it will always stays fixed. Let's see what does this mean. Okay so we have same thing before. This time we have sticky class to the children. Now to see the sticky effect your web page needs to be big because we need to scroll okay just like this. Now just for the demonstration I need to give a certain amount of height to the parent just for demonstration. Uh, in the parent I will use the height property I will give 50 rem. So let's see uh, okay so the parent is now quite big now let's go to the sticky class. I will make it position uh, sticky. Uh, let's see. Okay, so nothing has changed because it is now position relative. I mean, it has the effect of position relative. So we need to use the top left bottom right property. So if I use top to uh, 20 pixel, still no effect. But if I scroll down, okay, I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling. Okay, so you can see that the children element has been fixed to this position and even if I scroll it doesn't get out of the view now now why is that because we have specified 20 pixel to the top so when the children element is down by 20 pixel from the document body it becomes fixed to that position okay now let's scroll more I'm scrolling 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 just notice now see the effect okay so let me show you again Okay, so you can see when I keep scrolling, when the parent was about to get out of the view, the children also get scrolled. And that's how sticky effect work. First, it was position relative. Then when it hit the offset of 20 pixels from top, it gets fixed to that element. Or you can say sticked to that element. And while I am keep scrolling, when the parent gets out of the view, the children get also out of the view. So that's how sticky position works. So that's it for this video, now you'll be able to position your HTML elements like a pro. Even if you don't understand any of this concept, then just rewatch this video, give yourself some time and you will understand because you are a genius. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, read the blog and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.